It's your boy Griff here, back with another video, and today, I got a special video guys, man, today we're going to be back with a ultimate equipment guide for the new LF Revival Nappa and Vegeta, which is, um, got released, you guys know, um, they dropped the, tw the trailer a couple days ago, two days ago, and then they dropped the kit and everything, so we kind of, we know the color, we don't really know if it's going to be blast based or strike based, but based off the Z, the Z abilities, we can predict that it might be a blast based. Um, I'm going to show you guys here, and <clears throat> if you guys do enjoy these type of videos, subscribe to the channel and leave a like and, and you know, have the notice on. So, let's get straight into it. So, take a look, right, like uh, you guys see here, Element Purple. Um, he's got Freezer Force, Saiyan Saga, uh, Vegeta Clan, uh, PO, and then you also see a Z ability does you know, max is 38 blast attack and defense. So, from this, I'm speculating that he's going to be a blast type, blast or range type. So, for, for this uh, equipment video, I'm going to be focused on equipment that's more on the blast based side of things because from the Z ability, I'm predicting that he's going to be a blast based. So, if I'm wrong and he's strike based, that'll be insane, but it is what it is. So, I just want to show you guys that here. And the best character to kind of uh, make the comparisons will be the super, super old purple Scouter Vegeta because he's from Saiyan Saga. He's purple and he's a blast type and he's going to have all the Zack Z abilities as a uh, Nappa in them because Vegeta was PO. He's purple. He's range. He's a Saiyan. He's, you know, he's uh, he's all that. He's Vegeta clan and everything like that. So he's going to have the same exact equipment. So uh, first, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start talking about like the peer equipment. If you guys watch my peer versus base stat equipment, you guys will understand what a peer equipment is versus a uh, base uh, equipment. So I'm going to start out with the peer equipment and then I'm going to go to the base. So. With this Vegeta, this Vegeta has a lot of uh, base. He has a lot of base. He has a lot of pure equipment. I mean, just depends on what team you're going to want to build them on and all that stuff. So, uh, me personally, I think I'm gonna show you guys the peers here because I don't have all the peers in my uh, equipment thing because I hadn't grind for every single one of the peers that this Vegeta will be using. So, let's get straight to it. So first, 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 first and foremost, we're gonna talk about this this peer equipment here. So this peer equipment is. Um, for Vegeta Clan, so if you guys are trying to build this guy off Vegeta Clan, um, he's gonna have it where if you rock all full Vegeta Clan, so like him, if you're rocking on a blast, but it might be like him, uh, Goku, Evo Goku, and then somebody else, right? Right, for the slot two and slot three, he's getting pure strike attack and pure blast attack for Vegeta Clan battle members. You have a full Vegeta Clan battle members team, so this equipment is gonna be very optimal on a full Vegeta Clan team. Not only that, he's getting special move. I'm assuming uh, he's a revival character. They didn't show a ultimate card, I believe. So he's going to be using a lot of the blue cards. So that's, that slot one is actually going to help him a ton. So this is a really great pure equipment if you want to rock him on the Vegeta clan uh, full setup squad, right? Next uh, pure equipment is going to be PO. There's a PO equipment. Unfortunately, he does not have an ultimate card, but the fact he does get special move, that slot one still going to help him out. Um, if you also got slot two and slot three on a full pure PO team, which I personally think is going to be his best team, him in a uh, ultra, not ultra, but a uh, super LF super 17, those two blast characters there. And then your last unit could be maybe revival Frieza, uh, maybe uh, Zenkai Jiren, Zenkai Jiren, he's going to have endurance. So someone like that, right? If you're rocking a full or a powerful opponent team. This equipment is going to be really nice, double defense, and then you're getting ultimate, I mean, not ultimate, but special move damage, and you're getting 10 to pure strike and blast. It's lower than the Vegeta clan, but if you want to rock them on a pure PO, you can here. So, let's get up out of there. Next is this one, right? If you're rocking on a specific PO team where you want to rock him with Super 17, then this equipment is going to be a little bit better because, one, he's getting 28 to double defense, and then he's getting 12% pure for both strike and blast if you're rocking GT and Android 17 as a battle member. So you don't gotta rock the LF 17. You could rock the LF, uh, not the LF, but the purple GT 17, right? You could rock them. I mean, he, he still kind of, per choice, uh, he still counts the GT and the Android 17 if you rock that purple GT 17 as well. Even the green Super 17, but um, you know, you're know you most likely gonna rock the new LF 7, uh, Red 17. So if you rock them with Red 17 for PO, this equipment is going to be better than the other one because you're getting 2% more through base strike and blast there. So, next, um, other than that, that's a couple of peers there. 
I mean, I could talk about this one. If you're rocking them on a Saiyans team, you're rocking them with Goku and Bardock. Or you're rocking them with, like, the Zenkai Yellow Bardock. And then maybe, like, the Ultra Spirit Bomb Goku. Depending on, as long as you have a Bardock and a Goku battle member, you could rock this equipment on a full Saiyan team. For the most part, maybe if you rock him and Goku Bardock together, you have Revival. Then you have that Unbreakable, or whatever that's called, of uh, what Goku Bardock has in terms of Rise of Rust. I mean, that's, that's really nice there, so... This is a quick one. It's really nice equipment, peer equipment. I gotta talk about all the peer equipments because this is that's just how many peer equipments that this this unit has, right? Next peer equipment, if you rock them on a full Saiyan Saga team, base health, which is really my is really nice. I love base health. You're getting 15 peer for both defenses and then 12 peer for both offenses, which is really good. He's getting peer for defense and offense, right? If you rock them on a full Saiyan Saga team, most likely the best team is probably like him. Cryhan and maybe to support Goku or if you have the new Yamcha or the yellow Goku um, Even Ape Jita is going to be a really good character. He has endurance. So I mean the Saiyan Saga team will be pretty okay I think they'll be pretty decent not going not top tier But pretty decent if you rock him on a full Saiyan Saga team He's getting pure defense and this equipment is is really really good base health and tier for all defense and both defense and both offenses You can't go wrong with that. You can't go wrong with that at all so, other than that, I think there's probably two to three more peers that I'm missing. Um, this one here, a lot of people don't know about. This is a, just a pure Saiyan equipment. If you just want to focus on Blast Attack, he gets up to 15 base peer there. Um, as long as you rock him on a full Saiyan team. Saiyan has it's just a very fleshed out team. Him, you can rock him, UI, Goku, and then maybe like another Blast, a really good Blast, equi uh, blast character. Or just like maybe Universe Spirit Bomb Goku. Um... That's a really good team. Yellow, blue, purple. You have a double right. You have endurance. Then you have revival, and then you have UI Goku. That's pretty annoying to deal with. So you know something that doesn't cost that much resources. Not an awaken, not a pure. I mean, not a plat equipment. Pretty solid there. Now we got like two more equipments, two more peers equipments, and then we're gonna go to the base. So we're gonna go here real quick. Next is this equipment. Now this equipment is very niche. He can use it because he's Vegeta Clan, but. If you want to get that pure blast attack one, you got to rock him with God Key. So, um, in terms of the God Key, I don't really like the best God Key will be, for example, if you're rocking him with UI Sign Goku. UI Sign Goku, more of a niche team. Uh, Revival UI Sign. Purple UI Sign. Um, any God Key blast base, even the Trunks and Vegeta. I mean, they got God Key with Vegeta, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. So, as long as he's paired up with a blast, uh, with, a, with a God Key member, he's going to get 15 pure there and this is better than the other one because he's getting 15 base blast as well so it's better than that sand one because you're getting 15 pure blast but he's also getting 15 pure blast and 15 pure uh base blast as well so it's better but you want to get the god key one instead of the strike attack because this character is, is blast base from the looks of it and he's also getting strike defense so the last pure equipment a lot of peers for this Vegeta, right? A lot of peers, but um, the last equipment I want to talk about is this new Awakened one. I think this one was before, so it's not the newest one, but it's the one prior to it. And this is for Saiyan Saga, right? He's getting base blast, and then he can get pure blast for per Saiyan Saga member. So if you don't want to grind for that plat equipment one that has the pure defense and the pure offenses, um, you can go for this one here, get him up to 18 pure compared to the 12 pure blast. Um, but you're missing out on the 12 pure strikes so overall offense is better but if you focus more on the blast this is a better equipment because he's also getting base blast as well so this is not a bad equipment if you want to focus on this instead of that base one that plat one me personally i will i will go for the blast one i mean the, the plat one but um i mean this one it is per member so like even if you have two Saiyan Sagas, he's getting 12 but the other one is like you got to have a full Saiyan Saga battle members team or else none of those peers proc none of those equipments uh slots proc so that's all the peers there and then now i can kind of just break down uh regular equipment so i don't think he really has the best equipments like regular base equipments base blast equipments but i think a few that i want to talk about is one obviously we're going to talk about this one this is like a really good plat. i mean he's blast based they're going to be blast based for the most i hope they're blast based you're getting 45 base blasts if you're trying to rack up them, them base blasts, you can never go wrong with this. 45 with 30 blast defense, can't go wrong with that at, at all. If you're trying to stack up that blast attack. Next is this equipment. This equipment is okay. The only reason why is this one's more focused on the strike side than the blast. But the only reason why I like this equipment is helps with key recovery and he's getting health. Uh, especially a character that's 
revival. I really like focusing on having a lot of health, him staying as Nappa for as long as possible before he dies into Vegeta. And the fact that this one does more on the blast, I mean, more on the strike side than the blast, is not the most optimal. But like I said, if you don't really care too much about the base blast and you just want an equipment that has both base blast and health alongside it, then this is not a bad choice. It's not the most optimal, but it's, it's, it's not a bad choice. So I really like this equipment. Um, next equipment I want to talk about is this one. This one is also an okay one. It kind of falls in that same category as that, that plat that I just showed you there. It's because this one does 30 strike attack and this one does 28 base blast and then 10 special moves. So depending on how good his strike attack is, this is not a bad one either. Um, it's not really the most optimal in my opinion, but it's it's decent. It's decent. So I definitely want to talk about it. Vegeta range. So um, he should have this equipment on uh, this Vegeta. So just wanted to talk about that one as well. Next one is this one. This one is actually not bad. He's going to be part of Frieza Force because, you know, this is when they're loyal to Frieza. So if you focus more on the blast side here, so for slot two, you go for a 20, and then you get the 18 there for double strike and blast. So he can get up to 38 base blast with 18 base strike and then 15% health restoration. I know part of the kit, they have ways of healing, so that's a really good thing there. You can never go wrong with extra health restoration. I wish it was base health, but 38 base blast with 18 base strike and then 15 health restoration is not bad at all especially with their kids and how the way that they um they heal up from each other there um, next after that is this equipment this equipment is not bad it doesn't help with base blast attack but like i said they are a character that is revival so having them having the health and the health restoration the special move damage and also the pure defense if he has another member that's Saiyan Saga. So if you're rocking on say on Vegeta clan, him and uh eight Vegeta is gonna be really probably the best two characters on that team. Um the Saiyan Saga, I mean you could rock him and Cryhan together because they're both blast based revival characters. Um so it's a little bit iffy. I'm not the biggest fan of this equipment, but because you gotta be paired up with another Saiyan Saga other than the person that's using this. So it's like eh. But you can never go wrong. 12 special move health restoration base health and then strike defense you're going to be facing more of a strike based meta i mean he's getting special move helps with blue card health restoration helps with extra healing and then base health there as well so yeah um i think there's only a few more equipments there like i said he doesn't really have like the best base uh attack equipments um there's probably i think there's probably one more that i'm going to put out here this one is for a region. I mean, I guess I'll say two. I'll say three more. I'll say I'll, I'll give out three more. I probably might be missing out on another equipment here. Um, yeah, this is also another pure. I totally forgot about this pure equipment here. This equipment is actually not that bad as well. So you guys see here, this one is base health. It's the new equipment for the PVP event, PVP uh, exchange shop. I totally forgot about this pure equipment. But he's getting 18 base strike. It kind of hurts them because he's looking like they're more on the blast side. I mean, but the fact that they're getting 10 pure to both strike and blast for Saiyan Saga, and it has to be this person that's using it is good, and he's also getting health. So me personally, for base, for a pure equip, I'll probably use this one because I like the health and I like the pure. He's not getting as much pure, but I do like the extra health. You know, he's tanking and he's getting the pure. I just wish that the slot through is more on the blast side instead of the strike side, but, you know, it is what it is, unfortunately, so... I just wanted to point that out there as well. Totally forgot about that equipment. Um, and now we can go with this equipment here. This one is okay equipment. It's one of those things if you don't care too much about awakening equipment and re-rolling for Z+. Uh, if you just want equipment that has high base blast attack, you guys can go with slot 1. Go with the... Um, where's it at? Well, this equipment is supposed to have the blast attack side. Let me actually show you here. Um, but, yeah, I'll show you guys that later. But slot 1 is supposed to have... There's going to be an option for blast attack and in slot two there's going to be an option for blast attack as well and in slot three you want to go with the special move so i think it gets up to 33 base blast attack and then go with the special move for 12 percent uh but it's a it's a decent equipment but like i say if you don't want to dedicate a lot of resources and awakening and stuff you want a good base but don't want to really work for it go with this one equipment 33 base blast if you go with this blast attack for slot one slot two 
and then slot three will go with special move because he's not going to have an ultimate card. I'm gonna show you. I'll show you guys the equipment later. But um, we're basically almost done here. I think there's one more equipment I want to talk. There's two more. That basically in terms of you, you don't really care too much about how, about having high base blast, but you want to have that extra health equipment. These two equipments are not bad here. You're gonna get if you go with the slot one and slot two and focus on the blast side. You're getting 25 base uh, blast attack, but you are going to get that 10 base health. So if, if you focus on, hey, I want lower base blast attack, but I'll 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 trade that in for 10% base health, then this is enough. This is equipment that's pretty good, you know, in that terms of that aspect of things. And then um, there's another equipment that's basically the same thing as that. Is this one here? This one's going to give a little bit more blast. I mean, a little bit more base health, but less blast. This one's 15 unfortunately and then this one is i believe 12.5 and then slot three is um 15 the hybrid sands so if you do face a lot of cryhans beast gohans uh pans uh those really like the top hybrids right so i mean you do extra damage to them i mean they're purple and i believe they do extra damage to sun family I, if i'm not mistaken and you're not gonna be able to have the waking because that's for android 17 so that's pretty much it with all the equipment's there for vegeta um me personally, I think they just need to work a little bit on some better base. He has a lot of peer uh, equipment. I think this one is more of the sh Yes, yeah, that one is okay. That was meh. Um, I don't remember. I probably am missing out on another equipment. This is another peer here if you want to rock with, like, say, um, I don't know, like with, with a Frieza Force and a Sun family member. Uh, Goku, Frieza together if you want to rock them two together. You, I mean, you get the extra peer for the Strike and Blast there. Um, and that's pretty much it. This is another equipment that has like the blast, basically, in a sense. If you go with the 18 base blast there, 10 base there, and you go with the special move, this is also those one of those equipment that's you're trading off a lot of base blast, but you want the extra health there. That's another one of those equipments. Um, other than all, all in all, that's pretty much it with this Vegeta. If I was to build him, um, me personally, if I was to build him, like I said, I'm a sucker for health. So I'll probably have this pure equipment right here. I'll have this pure equipment here. And then I'll focus on the equipment that has that gives a little bit of base blast and then um base a little bit of base blast, but it gives health because he has he's a revival character. And um depending on how you build that um that revival Vegeta with the Zenkai buffs, I think they'll he will still be good to go there in my opinion. Um but I'm going to show you guys that one equipment there. I mean, this is a long video, but the Vegeta don't look pretty interesting. Like I said, I think him and 17 is going to be a really great partner. And then um, I could start seeing, I could see people probably rock like leader slot, uh, leader slot ultra Gohan, like for like a purple, purple, red, green type of uh, type of vibes there. You can do that. But like that, for example, that one equipment I was showing you guys. It was like an example of the blast attack one, right? Like you guys see it does blast as well. So you can get this instead of the strike. Um, this is also another pure equipment I'm also missing out on as well. He gets base health here and then you can focus on just the full blast side. I actually have a Z plus here and I'm trying to get gold plus and if you rock him on a pure blast based team he can get up to 18 pure with 10% base health as well. So there's a lot of peers. He gets a lot of peers. It depends on what you want to build him on. I think the best team if I was to build him I think PO is going to be his best team. And I'll probably show you the, the setup here that I'm probably thinking of building this guy. Uh, actually, uh, actually did the wrong thing there and did not go PO. So I'll go PO. It'll be like this Vegeta, for example. And then I gotta pretend who is 17, for example. Let's pretend. Let's pretend like this is Super 17, because I don't have Super 17. Pretend this is Super 17, and then you rock like. Jiren there for example and then your Zenkai buff um, actually I'll probably switch them and then you can put in a Zenkai buff like uh, like this character here where you at bro where's purple where's purple trolls where's purple trolls when you need them I swear I'm passing them you can put him there you could put Ape Jita if you want a Zenkai buff uh, you want a Zenkai buff what's the name there the, the droids you could definitely do that or you could do this there and then you just add in like uh you know what I'm saying like it's a purple po character like this or you could do like purple uh tau because purple hp you could do something like this 
Where's Purple Town? Oh, Purple Town, not PO. But it's going to be something where it's around them and, and 17, and then your third unit, you can kind of, you can lead a slot, Revival, Gohan. I mean, not Revival, uh, Ultra Gohan. You could put in Jiren. You could put in, like, maybe Universe Spirit Bomb Goku as, your, as like, a blue, purple, red. Uh, the third character is going to be, um, it's going to be, like, a wild card. You could lead a slot even with Cryhan. You can do that. So there's lots of things that you can kind of build. But I think his best partner is going to be Super 17, especially especially if he's facing any powerful yellows. You have Super 17 running rampant. And then, like I said, for the green, you could do Cryhan. I think he's pretty decent. And then, but Ultra Gohan will be the better character to use. So you could even do a setup like this, right? Um, no, nah, you can't actually. Never mind. Never mind. Nah. Never mind, but it's gonna be it's gonna be a set of words. It's it's him seventeen, and then the third unit you kind of just free ball. So those are all the equipments there. Uh, my thoughts on the the Vegeta. I think he's gonna be pretty solid. I think it sucks that he's blast based, but um, I mean the top character. Some of the top characters in the game is blast based. Some of the top characters in the game are PO. So he has he has some good typings. Saiyans as well. So Saiyans gonna get some good love in in the anniversary as well. So. He's gonna be like super. He's gonna be like Pycon Gogeta. He's gonna age, you know, pretty nice. I mean, just the fact that he's a Saiyan revival, that's just enough value there. And then PO's also been getting a lot of love this year too. So, yeah, he has lots of good characters that he can mesh well with. You guys can definitely uh, be very creative with this character. Just the fact that he's a revival. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and grow up, man. I'm out. Peace.